Today we are going to talk about an online recording service called Vocaroo. It is found at vocaroo.com and it allows you to record your voice and then it gives you a URL to that voice. You can download that audio recording or share it in other ways, which I'm going to show you. Now, the one thing you need to know on this is that when it's recorded online, it does not give a specific amount of time that it is kept online. So if it is something that you want to keep, you'll need to make sure that you download it. It's pretty easy to use. When going to the site, this is what you'll get to, and you simply click to record. This little box comes up about the Adobe Flash settings. You click to allow, and it's recording right now as I speak. And so you go ahead and give your message, and there are a number of things that you could use this for. Young students could use this to practice their reading. Uh, those learning a foreign language could practice speaking that foreign language. Artists could give a statement about their work. So there are a variety of things that you could use this for. When you're done recording, you click Stop. And obviously you get a chance to listen to the recording to see if you're happy with it. And it's recording right now as I speak. And if you're happy with it and you want to keep it, then you're going to go down here where it says happy with its recording. Click here to save. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to give you several options as to how you can um, share this recording with other people. So one thing you can do is get the link to this. And with this link, then you can embed it on another site or email it to someone. You can share it in any number of ways on social media, like Facebook and Twitter. You can download it as an MP3. So if you click on the download as MP3, then it's going to ask you to save this file. You can open it right away in iTunes too, but you can save the file. And then from there, you'll need to give it a name and tell it where it's saving those kinds of things as when we normally save a file. So you will definitely want to download this if this is a file that you want to keep. If you want it as a temporary basis, then you can simply use this link. Or there's a pretty cool little link down here in the right hand corner that says QR code. And if you click on that, it's going to automatically generate a QR code for you. Now, if you're not familiar with a QR code, there are QR code readers on iPads, uh, smartphones, etc. And when someone takes their device and it has a QR code reader, it will automatically scan this and send them to the website. So how would you use this um, when it's on the screen? Well, if it was left on the screen, someone could certainly scan it right on the screen. I did that with my iPad. But obviously, you're not going to have your screen open all the time for people to use it. So you can simply right-click on this image, and you can copy the image, or you can save the image. At this point, I'm going to copy this image. Now I'm going to go to a word processing document and I just typed on here an example of maybe you are going to put these recordings by some student work. So you'd want to put the student's name and maybe the date of the work, maybe even the title of the work. And then you would want to paste that QR code on there. And then since they're relatively small and they are an image so you can resize them as well, you could add more than one on a page to save when you're printing and then simply cut them apart and put them um, by your product that you have. So for example, this could even be done as a book review that a student had read a book and then they record what they thought of the book and create this QR code and that could be taped into the inside of the book and so someone coming to look at the book could scan it and see what others actually thought of the book. When someone takes a device and scans the QR code, it will take them to a website. And I'll just show you an example here of what it's going to look like. It's going to take them to the Vocaroo website, and then it's going to... And it's recording right now as I start playing the sound, just like you saw it on here. So that's what they will do. Um, it may be the case that it may not play automatically, that they may actually have to touch the play button to do that but then they can actually hear the audio recording, recording while um, in a different location. Unfortunately, because this is a flash-based program, 
students are not able to record directly from the iPad. They can listen from the iPad, but they cannot record from the iPad. Hopefully you've learned a little more about Vocaroo and can think of some really interesting and unique ways of incorporating it into your curriculum.